I feel there's so much pride in using diamonds, natural diamonds from countries such as South Africa, Botswana, Namibia. And it's, it's your own little way of telling that story and bringing it out into the world and sharing it with, with people. Hello, my name is Sata Maturi and I'm the owner and creative lead for Maturi Fine Jewelry. The inspiration behind our designs is mainly primarily from Africa. So it's about going back to the continent, it's about telling those stories, whether be it heritage or music or flora or fauna and many other things that we try to bring in and tell those stories through fine jewellery. We try to do the sourcing um, direct from, from source, so we work with partners who actually buy from, from the producer countries and the primary sources. So one of our iconic designs is the Normally Totem, which is inspired by uh, stone figurines from the western region of, of Africa, but also African mask and masquerades. I'm wearing one such piece today, which is made of 13 carats of, of diamonds. This particular design was created with enlightenment in mind, and we do different iterations of it. Um, this one in particular, I was very keen to create something using different shapes and sizes of diamonds, um, and really just to sort of look to humanity currently. So, you know, many walks of life, um, and with all the challenges that come through, um, you just need to keep pushing on. And we just created um, a version of our iconic design with a crown of diamonds just representing humanity and just shedding a light um, and brilliance um, to everyone. Originally, I'm from Sierra Leone, and uh, De Beers as a company used to operate in Sierra Leone back in the uh, 70s and the 80s. And I must say though, my, my father also used to work for De Beers, so there is a link there as well. After university, I, um, I decided to join the company. I worked as a rough diamond expert, um, and I worked in the sales department, and I did that for, for quite some time, but I wanted to sort of follow my, my passion for jewellery. So in 2015, I decided to, to leave and uh, pursue my, my, my dream of starting a jewellery brand, and that's how it started. To be honest, I love jewellery. I'm passionate about it. Within the continent of Africa, wherever you go, north, south, east, west, central, uh, jewellery forms a really strong part of the culture um, and women do adorn themselves and wear jewellery. So I had a mother and I had sort of my siblings wearing jewellery. I think that's where the passion began. But nothing really spoke to me in terms of what I really wanted. Um, and I think that's what led me to start my own brand because I wanted something different that sought inspiration back from the continent and back from Africa. So diamonds play a really important part of um, producer countries and also to the citizens of those countries. And there's a lot that the wealth from mining and the sales of diamonds do for those countries. And I've been fortunate enough to see it firsthand. I mean, there are many examples, um, things like you know, providing free healthcare to the citizens. There's free um, education. And these are all because of diamonds. Botswana is um, really, really rich in terms of biodiversity, in terms of, uh, you know, sort of natural beauty. And I think the wealth from diamonds also goes into that. When I live there, I mean, Botswana is known as, you know, a middle income country. Their GDP, or a large uh, uh, majority of their GDP, is actually dependent on the sale of diamonds. So they're doing a lot to make sure that that trickles through to every single citizen. 